Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about the execution of ADF pipeline, data factory pipelines using Postman 2. And this requirement has a prerequisite that we need to create bearer token from the Postman tool to access Azure resources through Postman. A video has already been created on this topic of creation of bearer token. I'll recommend you to watch that video. Here also I will summarize what we did in that video. So let us first see the REST HTTP post requests which we'll be using from the Postman tool. Here we are in the Microsoft Standard Documentation page of Data Factory Resource Manager Pipelines. Okay, REST related details are there. And this section is to create run. That means to create execution of the pipeline. This is the URL HTTP post request where you can see it starts with management.azure.com, then the subscription, subscription ID, resource groups, resource group name, then the provider, factory name, pipeline name, create run, and then the API version. We'll make use of this post request. The data factory pipeline which we'll be using in this video will be the same that is ADF cloud knowledge one of the pipeline we will consider to add into the create run HTTP request okay so we'll copy this request and take it into a new notepad here we will paste it but before editing but before adding the details here in the HTTP post request we will see the token generation part so in that video of generating the bearer token then we have to go to the enter ID there we have to take the tenant ID, add this URL using the OAuth2 token into the Postman tool. So here we are in the Postman tool. So here we are in the Postman tool. Here we have a collection called bearer token where we have a post request called get bearer token. We have added the post request which is in the format of login.microsoft.com. Then the tenant ID, OAuth2 and token. Then we have few body section parameters grant type, client ID, client secret and resource. These parameters we will give and send the post request. In return, we'll get the access token here. Okay, in this section, access underscore token, which we'll be using in this video. And the steps are mentioned here in this notepad. If you want to study more in detail, you can refer to that video. Okay, so the target is to have the bearer token or the access token to access the Azure resources from Postman tool. So this is the access token. We'll make note of this access token to be used in the next request. So now comes our main job of execution of ADF pipeline or to create the post request for the execution. So we have copied the request here. Okay, post request where we have management.azure.com subscription ID resource group name. So we'll go so in order to get subscription ID and other details of the data factory, we'll go to the data factory. We'll open data factory here, the main page of the data factory in the overview section, we can see the details. So we'll take the subscription ID, we will copy and paste. Then we'll take the resource group name, we'll paste. Next is the data factory name. Factory name is ADF hyphen cloud knowledge. Then comes the pipeline name. We'll take any of the pipelines. So the ADF cloud knowledge is already opened here. We'll take any of the pipeline which is present here. Let's take pipeline SDD1. It's pipeline SCD1. Okay. Create run. This will help in creation or execution of the pipeline, then the version. Okay. This looks fine. We'll take this entire request and create a new request inside this collection. Bearer token collection will create or add a new request. So click on the three dots and add request. New request is created. We'll name this as execute ADF pipeline pipeline okay then it has to be a post request so we'll select from the drop down post and we'll enter the URL 
okay make sure the url is correct okay it has the intended details the pipeline which we actually want to execute should be present the request looks good next we have to go to the authorization section we'll click the authorization section and we have to select from the drop down the type of authorization bearer token so select bearer token and from the previous request of the access token from where we got the access token we'll copy this access token value okay make sure you copy the value only okay copy this value go to the execute adf pipeline and here in the token request remove the old value and add the new value okay we can now send it let's see if it executes or it fails okay we got an error message saying authorization failed the client with object id does not have authorization to perform action cannot perform the action of execution over scope mentioned so this means that the access token which we have generated from postman to access the azure resources does not have what our access token does not have the permission to execute pipelines in adf so we need to add that permission because for this bearer token we have created as we have seen here we have created we have created an app we have registered an app okay and the app is already open here i will show you the app name was demo bearer token refer to the old video if you want more details so this app we created now using this app from postman tool we are accessing the azure resources now this app has to get permission into the data factory so that our postman tool can execute pipeline okay so demo bearer token if we go to the api permissions in the demo bearer token we had added azure service management and microsoft graph that is for the execution these permissions helped the postman to access azure resources now if we go to the data factory here we are in adf cloud knowledge we'll go inside the access control iam and here inside access control or identity access management we have an option to add role assignment this add role assignment will help us to grant data factory contributor role to our app okay so here we will search for that role which is data factory contributor it describes as create and manage data factories as well as child resources with them we'll select this next we'll click on next then selected role is contributor role next option is assign access to the first option we'll select and select the members from the members list we will select our app demo bearer token okay our app was demo bearer token so we'll select this click on select button under the members we can see our app name we we'll click on next again review and assign adding role assignment is happening demo bearer token is being added it was added as data factory contributor now since our app has access to it it also has the permissions okay through this app we could now execute adf pipelines using the postman tool because in the get bearer token we have given the client credentials the client id client secret etc and these parameters are of that app so through that app we can now execute adf pipeline so the role assignment is done in the data factory since the role assignment is done we'll go back to the postman go to the execute adf pipeline and now we can again click on the send button to see the result in the output we'll receive a run id which will be the execution id of the pipeline and if we go to the azure portal in the pipeline runs if we click on refresh we could see that the execution of that pipeline is happening okay it's a manual trigger shown and it is in progress if you want to see the run id of it we'll click on the pipeline the run id is, is 45 and ends with f27 
if we go here 4 5 f to 7 okay same run id taken from the pipeline run id is shown in the postman tool as response so in this way we can execute the pipeline from the postman tool in adf hope you have understood this video make sure that the bearer token remains active when you are executing the adf pipeline if it expires you need to generate it again by sending request to that app to make it active you have to again send the request so that a fresh bearer token is created use that fresh token here here again in the execute adf pipeline request and this will help you in the execution thank you for watching this video do let me know in comments if you have any queries happy learning bye